book is The Undying Soul, and in the meantime, you've been working with a lot of cancer patients, of course, 30 years, and you've learned a lot about science and also faith. Tell us what uh, this book is about and why you think it's so helpful to people who are going through the process of having cancer, some people being able to survive thanks to chemotherapy and faith and things, and others, uh, unfortunately, not. Well, uh, the book is about my, it's a, it's a collection of stories of mm -hmm. patients that I've dealt with over the years, it selects stories, and each story illustrates a certain patient's journey uh, seen through my eyes because my experiences with them are pretty intimate. You know, we, we become, we see each other weekly, I see the family, I see them come in and I see them die. So it's a very, it's a lot of drama. Yeah, uh, and, and, and that's sure it's what heart-wrenching. Well, it's what compels medical oncologists, all of my colleagues, to do what we do because there's so much there that's, that's, that's deep and, 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 endear and endearing. But the problem is, is that while we do focus on curing patients and putting people in remission, it's also true that many patients still fail mm -hmm. and they die of cancer. Of course, uh, we know certain celebrities who, despite being billionaires, just died right. of cancer. Steve Jobs. Right. right. And so, cancer and so what does that person do when the doctor has to finally say, there's nothing more I can do for you medically? 30, 50 years ago, the answer was simple. I was just going to pray and go to heaven. That belief system is not as intact and entrenched and native to the person's um, mindset as it used to be. And my book is a, is, a, is a call to return to that fundamental truth that has guided humanity since the beginning of time. And I came to this discovery as a, as a modern age agnostic. I came of age, I went to college in Berkeley and I became a scientific materialist as we called ourselves. But your patients showed you something They else. showed me that I was wrong and that uh, my powers as a doctor and as an intellectual were minuscule compared to the power of nature and to the power of God. And so I realized they showed me that they could die without fear and completely uh, selfless and with love and dignity. And I find that that's one of the things that we're missing in the whole paradigm of cancer care. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's kind of my mission. And the book describes the pa patients who did, couldn't do that and the patients who could and the difference in how to get from one place to the other because family members and patients are stuck in this dilemma of not being able to access the truth, the ancient truths that humanity has right, been. Both in, in, hope in both scenarios, both access to drugs and also access to um, being able to cope with such a, 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 a horrible situation. Um, you've been very enlightening today. We appreciate it. Dr. Stephen Iacoboni, thank you so much. The book is The Undying Soul, A Cancer Doctor's Discovery. Thank appreciate you, Bridget. You